Hey, what's up guys? Snoopy Manitari here and today I am actually making a video talking about my favorite skins from each season. This has been like a trend that's been happening for a little bit now. I've mostly been seeing it on Twitter. Uh, there are 25 seasons, so I'm going to try and go as fast as possible here. I'm just going to hop right into it. Let's start at the very beginning with Chapter 1, Season 1. And this is probably going to shock people here because there's a lot of good skins from this season. While there weren't a lot of like amazing skins from this season, which honestly I feel like don't really hold up besides like Skull Trooper maybe, I decided to go with Survival Specialist. This is actually a very clean skin in my opinion. Very much like the color scheme. Love the skull on her shirt. It's really nice. This is a very underappreciated skin from season one. As obviously this is a Headhunter skin and this skin obviously gets overshadowed by Renegade Raider. Moving on to Chapter 1 Season 2. Now, this is yet another pretty big shocker because I know people would probably not expect for me to have this skin on here, but this is yet another one of those skins that is very underappreciated, and that is Alpine Ace. I am a big fan of the Alpine A skins. There's basically all of them at this point. That's what I'm going to mention here is every single one of them. These skins obviously are overshadowed by the Mogul Masters, which obviously those skins are very popular with the comp community. And Alpine Aces are one of those skins that just never gets appreciation for what it is. And I'm just very sad that it doesn't because it is a very, very clean male skin in my personal opinion. Moving on to Chapter 1 Season 3 here. There's a bunch of really good skins from this season as well here but this really wasn't any hesitation for me to put this on here elite agent this was my old main back in the day and she is still probably my favorite battle pass skin of all time very much adore this skin it is a very clean badass skin chapter one season four this is yet another one of those instances to where there's a bunch of really good skins from this season but i think overall my favorite skin from this season was technique this was the skin that i ran the most out of here no don't get me wrong there are some really good skins like omega i love omega but i feel like technique in my opinion was slightly better i don't know i think it just has to do with the whole theming around the skin being a graffiti artist and it's really cool i do wish that we did get the mask on as an edit style at some point in the future but i don't think that's ever gonna happen it's just a really really good skin obviously the reskin of her is better in my opinion because that's another very popular sweat skin but you get what i mean moving on to chapter one season five this is yet another season to where there was a bunch of really good skins here but no debate here for me it's still drift i still think drift is arguably one of if not the best tier one skins we have ever received in fortnite you can say what you want about the skin being ruined in party royale that is just an obvious thing that would be you know the case for it but i do think that this skin still holds up to this very day as being a very good tier one skin just the lore behind the skin in general with the other cosmetics that fall under this like you know in this fox clan thing or whatever it's it's really cool moving on to chapter one season six now this one was also pretty difficult i think my favorite skin from this season was hey man though this was probably still one of my favorite halloween skins it actually was my favorite halloween skin until another one that we're going to talk about a little later on in this video it's just a really good looking skin now obviously dante would have made it on here as well i love dante I even like brainiac as well but i feel like hey man is probably my favorite skin from this season due to the fact that it's just a very creepy skin and i love the, like the hat that he has on i love the color scheme and just the overall creepiness of this skin it is a very good one in my opinion now we're moving on to chapter one season seven now there was a bunch of really good skins from this season links honor guard i think my favorite skin from this season is actually one i don't have and that is the ice queen i think that this is arguably the best tier 100 gender swap skin i think we've ever gotten in fortnite i think that this is still a top tier skin in my opinion it is so so good it's better than the original ice king in my opinion i love the back bling for those who are ogs of the channel the pickaxe was my old main pickaxe for a good while until like toothpick came out it's still a top tier skin i'm still really wanting to get this skin on my account at some point i just haven't gotten around to getting her yet but when i do i will be running this skin a 
lot trust me on it it is a very good skin and is another one of the skins that's very underappreciated moving on to chapter one season eight there's a bunch of really good skins on here i know people would probably expect for me to put like black widow on here but i'm not going to put her on here i am actually going to put iconic this is arguably the most unique exclusive skin we have ever had in fortnite at this time now obviously there was reflex and if you want to put galaxy in this type of aspect too then sure but iconic at the time like i have never seen a skin get so much hype and so much of like love from the community as iconic did as like galaxy this skin blew up in the fortnite community and it's a damn shame that epic has not really done anything with this character model or just with this skin concept in general like a female version of iconic i do think that at some point we should see something you know something should happen with the iconic skin because this is still such a phenomenal skin and imagine a reskin of this like the fortnite community would go nuts and it's still probably my favorite exclusive skin in fortnite just with the color scheme and just the overall look it's such a unique skin for being an exclusive chapter one season nine now this is actually a another pretty difficult season for me because there's another lot of really good skins out of here but i think singularity is probably my favorite skin from this season and i think she's probably my favorite secret skin we've ever gotten in fortnite was it difficult to get back in the day yes was it worth getting it absolutely i think that this skin in terms of the lore until fortnite changed it to make it so that they put a celebrity into this game was really cool and the edits styles for her were fantastic especially because it was definitely worth getting this skin after getting all those fort bites i think that the grind while it was very tedious was very much worth it for the skin and i still think that there really hasn't been any secret skins in my opinion that has really came close to this one as i still think that this is arguably the best original secret skin we have ever had in fortnite history moving on the chapter one season x here this is kind of a bias here but there's a lot of great skins from the season yeah for those who know i absolutely adore the battle pass and i still think that the catalyst is still my favorite skin from the season this isn't even like a remix version of drift this is literally a female version of drift and they somehow made her just as good if not better than the original drift skin it is such an amazing tier one skin it's it's debatable on which one could be better because drift has more edit styles to where you can customize him but catalyst has the better color scheme if you get where i'm coming from here this is still a fantastic skin Skin. don't get me wrong there's still a lot of amazing skins from that season like sparkle supreme even ruby i would put in that aspect but i think catalyst is still my favorite skin from this season chapter two season one here we go now we're moving into chapter two this is gonna shock people here because i don't think a lot of people would expect this to be my favorite skin from this season but it's astra i love this version of headhunter a lot so this is a very good skin it's a really nice one love the hair like it's all messy and also the back bling you can pretty much put that on any skin and it would look good it's just a really clean very very good skin overall very much love it moving on to chapter two season two there's really no debate here ladies and gentlemen i mean if you saw this coming i don't know what else to say it's master minotaur there's really no explanation to why this skin is right here as this is still my favorite skin of all time it's my main not much else to say i've already explained it in my top 10 favorite skins video go check that out if you want to get more context to it but chapter two season three now there was a lot of other really good skins from here splatterella was really good barracuda some of the battle pass skins were also pretty good as well but i think my favorite skin now this is gonna come to a shock to people i think my favorite skin from this season is unpeely now as somebody who is a memer in fortnite this is one of my favorite meme skins of all time it's just a very off-putting summer skin and i don't know why i keep running it a lot it's just a hilarious skin that just is so cursed yet i love it it's a great original take on the peely skin and i think this is probably better than the original just naked peely that that's <laughs> i don't know how else to put it it is such a hilarious skin and there's that's that's why he's my favorite moving on to chapter two season four now this skin was technically released in chapter two season one but not really as it was actually it actually lost to a vote by the way but it released in chapter two season four so i am putting it on here it's turns talk about a very underrated skin here that just does not 
not get enough appreciation. I love how this skin looks. It's such a unique skin for being an epic rarity. This skin honestly looks more like a legendary skin than anything else. I love the back bling. It's just an overall very elegant and peaceful skin. I guess that's the best way of me putting it. It's such a very clean male skin that should get a lot more appreciation from the Fortnite community, but unfortunately it does not. Chapter 2 Season 5. There's a lot of great skins. This is when we started to get a lot more collaborations in the game, but I feel like my favorite skin from this season was the Vi skin or V. It's the Fortnite crew skin that falls under the same category as the drift stuff. Yep, it's another drift cosmetic. I'm sorry, I love the drift skins in Fortnite. I love the edit styles to her. I really like the back bling as well. This was definitely up there as one of the best Fortnite crew skins of all time. This skin is arguably rivaled between this and the uh, galaxy, the, uh, the galaxy skin that we had in there, Galaxia. People say that this or Galaxia are the best Fortnite crew skins, and I think it's debatable. You can go back and forth between the two, but this skin was definitely my favorite skin from this season, hands down. I saw I saw myself running the skin the most out of here. Chapter 2, Season 6. Another really good season for cosmetics. While the season was not good, we did get a lot of really good cosmetics here, and I feel like my favorite skin from here was Lara Croft. I mean, adding a gaming character to a battle pass was a really smart idea. This skin overall was my favorite gaming character that they've added into Fortnite. It's just such a clean skin. It doesn't even feel like it's actually Lara Croft. It more or less feels like they took the Lara Croft assets and put made their own original take on the character. I guess that's the best way of me putting it. It is still a great skin. It became very sweaty with the Fortnite community, but I don't care. This is still a fantastic skin and I absolutely adore it. Moving on to Chapter 2 Season 7. Another very strong season for cosmetics here. There's a lot of great ones. J Balvin, Ariana Grande, but I think my favorite skin from the season was Cade. I, I just had to do Cade. I mean, Cade is another one of those skins that just does not get the appreciation that he deserves. It is still a fantastic original skin, especially in a season to where we had a bunch of just random collaborations coming out of the water. It was nice to see that Epic can still make really nice original skins, and I felt like he was probably my favorite from that season, and it's just such a good underrated skin. Chapter 2 Season 8. This is also not really any debate here, as it is another tier 1 skin. It's Charlotte. I mean, this skin was just such a clean tier 1 skin. Even with the edit styles as well that she had, I never thought that this tier 1 skin would be as popular as it was back in the day. I don't know if it's still really popular to this very day, but I still think it is a fantastic skin. One of the best tier 1 skins of all time. It's not the best because I've obviously said Drift is, but this is still one of those skins that was just so well done and is still probably the best skin from that season and is my favorite from Chapter 2 Season 8. Moving on to Chapter 3 Season 1. Now, obviously, there's a there's an obvious pick here, but there was a bunch of other great skins like Dawn, Spider-Man, like so many good ones, but Bruno Mars obviously is my favorite skin from the season and Anderson Pack, but more or less, and more or less, it is Bruno Mars who is my favorite skin from this season. I grew up listening to his music. He is such a good artist, probably my favorite male artist out there ever. And having him in Fortnite when this was announced, just it blew my mind. I was an absolute shocked that this was happening and when the skins came out in the whole set I bought that set instantly like I never really do that with collaborations but this was one that I did it with and it's still my favorite icon series skin of all time I don't know if anything's going to top this for me personally but it is still a phenomenal skin moving on to chapter 3 season 2 now I've got to be honest here while there was a lot of decent skins from the season there wasn't a lot of them that necessarily blew me away so I guess maybe Alto? It's the Coachella skin. I do really like this skin. I really like the back bling it, and the reactivity is cool on this skin. I don't really know because again, there's a lot of great skins from here, but I see myself running him the most realistically. So I guess there's that. I guess I'll just put him right here then. Alto. Yeah, not much else to say. So let's move on to chapter three, season three. And this was a really good season for cosmetics. Obviously, there was the Dragon Ball stuff. You had Med 
deadly Eevee. You also had a Dira in the battle pass. I absolutely love that skin, but I feel like my favorite skin from this season has actually changed, and that is Loveless. I love masked characters in Fortnite, and this is probably one of the cleanest female skins we have ever gotten in the Fortnite crew. Definitely a top tier one in my opinion. It's just so clean. It's just really just, ah, uh, it's just a nice original take on the wild card skin. I love wild card and just, it's a great skin. This is definitely my favorite skin from this season, hands down. It is such a great original take on an already existing skin. Like it is really good. Chapter three, season four. Now this season didn't have a lot of crazy skins from here, but obviously there was a bunch of really good ones. Cypher PK and also obviously Spider Gwen, but Bonjamin was my favorite skin from this season. Obviously like he has my main back bling, the end game back bling. If you see a skin running this in like the party royale maps, which yes, I still am going to go into party royale, but not make content on it. There's a good chance that it's probably me in there. And just the skin overall, I am a sucker for skeletons in like video games in general. And finally having a skeleton skin in the game, like an actual original skeleton skin that th that's not like painted on like skull trooper is, is fantastic. I think this skin got a bunch of backlash, which is a damn shame. And it's one of those skins that just does not get enough appreciation. It's one of those wacky Halloween skins that just went under the radar for some people. And it's a damn shame. Moving on to chapter four, season one. Now this is actually changed as there was a bunch of great skins from the season. I will say that right now. There was a bunch of really good ones. Mr. Beast, the ageless, dusty. But I feel like my favorite skin from this season is Hannah. This was one of the most hyped up original skins to release into the item shop and when the skin dropped i was blown away from the skin i've been wanting to get it ever since it was initially released and when i finally got the chance to pick up this skin i was so happy because this became my new favorite skin from chapter four so far i love the original like design of this character love the edit styles like the customization as well it is actually a very customizable skin but with a price which is really good chapter four season two probably my favorite favorite season from ch from chapter four so far that has the cosmetics there's a bunch of amazing ones that came from this season obviously the attack on titan skins but goku black was my favorite skin from the season i had to mention a dragon ball character at some point on here this skin was better than the original goku as i've explained in my top 10 favorite skins video to where the face just looks a lot better on this skin than it does on the original goku and it's a lot cheaper might i add this is a cheaper version of goku that looks better and it's just a sick ass skin and me knowing this whole lore towards this collab is amazing and it's just a great skin overall moving on to chapter for season three, the current season that we are in, the final one of this video, there's not a lot of skins that we have gotten this season, but I think my favorite skin is the new Summer Orisa skin. I forgot her name, so I apologize in advance for that. Court Queen Orisa, that's the that's the name of the skin. The cell shading off and on stuff is phenomenal. I think that is a great touch. Very happy to have this skin, and there's not much else to really say. So that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to check out my twitter or x at this point socials are on screen so thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you remember everyone it's always good to take chances